Hello and welcome to Mr. Money. In this video, we show you how to make 3D animated stories with AI for free so that you can make up to $300 per day on YouTube. So let's start making your 3D animation entirely free. We won't be paying any money to get this done. First, visit ChatGPT and enter this prompt or something similar because it's going to be about your story. This will make sense. So the prompt I've entered is, give me a short narration story about a boy and a donkey. Make each scene about four seconds long. Also, give me prompts to generate AI videos for each scene. So of course, your story might not be about a boy and a donkey. So whatever your topic is for your story, enter that instead of boy and a donkey. Once you've done that, select enter and ChatGPT will complete this action for you. As you can see, it's going through every scene of this story that we are going to create for free. Next up, you need to visit Text-to-Speech Maker. Although you can use something like 11 Labs, Text-to-Speech Maker is entirely free to use. This is how we're going to create our narration for our video. So let's take a look at Text-to-Speech Maker. You can Google search Text-to-Speech Maker, TTS Maker, and in the search results after the sponsored post, you will find this website. This is what we're going to use right now, free text-to-speech. Consent to the person as to cookies, we've got no problem with that. What's brilliant about this free text-to-speech maker is you can select a variety of voices and they sound quite natural. Let's show you some of these voices now. TTS Maker is a free text-to-speech tool that provides speech synthesis services. As you can see, you can sample the voices before you actually enter your text. Let's select from the drop down where it says English. You could also have multiple languages. You can have this voiceover in your chosen language. It can be Spanish, Brazilian, Portuguese, German, Deutsch, French, Italian, Turkish, Russian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Thai, Vietnamese, Indonesian, Hebrew, Finnish, Swedish, Norwegian, Danish, Hindi, Arabic, Romanian, Hungarian, Polish, Dutch, Czech, Ukrainian, Croatian, Greek, Slovak, Bulgarian, Slovenian, Catalan, Irish, Lithuanian, Maltese, Estonian, Icelandic, and a lot more. And you can select the language of your choosing. This is an absolute brilliant service right here that you can use for free for your voiceovers. Let's go back to ChatGPT because we need our voiceover without the prompts and of course without the titles. In the chat, I want you to write this next prompt. Regenerate the story without the prompts and labels. Hit enter in ChatGPT. Now we have our entire voiceover being written right before our very eyes. We need to copy this information. So you can either drag the click from top to bottom selecting only what you want your narration to say. Go back to text to speech, close out the advert and paste this into your characters. You can see how many characters you have remaining once you've pasted your script. Notice how we've left spaces in between each line. This is for each individual scene. You may also notice on the text to speech, if you're selecting a multi emotional version, you can actually select the emotion of the voiceover. For example, you have angry, fear, happy, disgust, sad, serious, or default. Here I'm going to select happy. TTS Maker is a professional voice generator that uses artificial intelligence technology. This is an example of a happy emotion, expresses a tone of joy or contentment. TTS Maker is a professional voice generator that uses artificial intelligence technology. This is an example of a happy emotion expresses a tone of joy or contentment. You can also select more settings. Right here, you can select your file format, for example, MP3 or WAV format. You can add background music here, but don't worry, we're going to do this later on. Change the voice speed, voice volume, and more. Right here is where you select your emotion. But as you can see, this right now is not something that you can use for free in terms of your voiceover. So you will have the default voice. Before selecting convert to speech, 
First, enter the captcha. Once the captcha code has been entered, convert to speech. This will be done in just a moment. Let's have a listen to the final result here. In a quiet village, a boy named Tim found a small, gentle donkey standing alone near a well. Tim smiled and offered the donkey a carrot, and the donkey nuzzled his hand, beginning their friendship. With a sack of bread, Tim hopped on the donkey's back, and they set out on an adventure through the fields. They reached a shallow river, where the donkey carefully crossed with Tim holding on tightly. As the sun began to set, they rested under a large tree, sharing bread and resting together. The stars emerged, and the boy curled up next to the donkey, falling asleep to the sounds of the night. The next morning, they returned to the village, where Tim led the donkey back to the well, their bond stronger than ever. Now you can download your voiceover for your animation. In this next step, we are going to use Hyper AI. This is how we're going to create our animation video. We're going to select text to video. As you can see, a prompt box appears at the bottom of the screen. We then go back to ChatGPT and we're going to scroll up to where our prompts have been entered for each scene. Scene 1's prompt is right here. Copy your prompt for the AI to create your 3D animation scene. Then go back to Hyper AI and enter this in the prompt box. We also want to set the style of the animation. So you want to put 3D animation and then the style of 3D animation. Otherwise, it would create something that's quite realistic. So in this example, let's go for Disney inspired. Before you select create, make sure you change the aspect ratio. Right here, you can select the aspect ratio and it's showing you a few examples. A 9 by 16 is a vertical style video normally used for TikToks or YouTube shorts. You can also select the quality from HD or SD and the all important length of the video. Now we went for four seconds for each scene of our script. So select four seconds right here. I'm also gonna go for 16 by nine full screen videos. Once you've made your selections here, select create. The Hyper AI is now creating our first scene. Hyper has now completed our first scene. Let's take a look at the result. So as you can see, we have a good quality HD animation, 3D Disney inspired right here. There are a few things that you can do with this scene specifically. For example, if you scroll down, you can see it, you can enhance it, extend it by four seconds, repaint, which is going to give it a different style, vary the prompt, which is where you're going to go into the prompt and you're going to add something different to the scene maybe, or change the background or maybe change the animal or you can regenerate the entire scene. But we're using a free version of Hyper right now, and we only have 300 diamonds or credits that we can use. So instead of doing any of the actions here, what you could do is you could create the next scene from this page. Let's see what happens. So we're gonna go back to ChatGPT, go to the second scene, copy the prompt, and enter that for the next scene. Make sure to add 3D animation and Disney inspired. Once you're done, select create, as we're now creating the second scene. But don't worry about your credits because this is what you're using for free with Hyper. As you can see, you get 10 creations per day, 300 credits. And you can see here, if I hover over the credits, this is what you get when you register your account, which you can do by signing up with your Google account. Then you have three concurrent creations that you can do. So at one single time, you can create three scenes. And this is free forever. Also, don't worry if you navigate away from your page, because if you click back, your generation will still be completing. But you may not have to worry about your character being consistent. As you can see, in the second video, our boy looks similar to how he does in the first scene. Almost like the AI has remembered what was made in the first scene here. We also have a similar colored donkey with a similar face and they're right in front of the same sort of cottage. So it looks like the Hyper AI remembers what you have just created with your scene. You can always experiment with Hyper AI a bit more when you're using it for free as you have 10 creations per day. So you could always try to extend your scene or of course use a very prompt. For example, if you don't want it to be a carrot, you can change it to an apple. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to create all of our scenes that we have 
in ChatGPT by following the process what we've just walked you through. And now we have our results of our animation so far. Each of these scenes are what have just been created for free in Hyper. So let's download our scenes and then we'll take you on to the next step. In order to download, select this button right here and you can download it, but it will have a watermark because we're using the free version of Hyper to download your scenes individually. These are only four seconds long, so as you can see, they're downloading quite quickly. The great thing about the Hyper AI is due to its learning, you can see that the character is quite consistent throughout. For getting this far in this Mr. Money video, we are going to reward you. I'm not only going to show you how to edit your video right here on Canva, but I'm also going to show you how you can lip sync so your character can talk. I've recorded some audio of myself and my character is going to be speaking. So right here on Canva, at this current moment in time, there's a menu that appears on the home page when you log in. You can use Canva entirely free right now and you can sign up for your account. On this menu bar, you can see video. So let's see all under video. There are a few options here. Remember, our video is 16 by nine. It's a full screen video. So let's select YouTube video in these options. This is going to give us a canvas for our video, which is of the same size. Now we need to upload the files that we have just downloaded from Hyper. We're gonna start with the first one for our first scene. By going into uploads and selecting upload files, you can find your files on your device and I'm going to select the first scene right here. As you can see, the file is now being uploaded to Canva. I'm going to enter this into our scene. It's currently five seconds long. Remember to trim down your scene size so that it matches. First scene, entered into the video. Now I'm going to simply drag this so it fills the canvas by dragging those edges. There's a little bit more we're going to do to our scene here. So it's four seconds long and you can see that right now, the scene has adjusted to what we've uploaded. Now let's show you how to lip sync. We're also going to need that all important audio. I've already exported the audio. I'm gonna access it the same way I just did by uploading my files from my device. So I've just uploaded my lip sync ready for this scene. Once you've done this, you can go to apps and in apps, you want to search for Lalamu, L-A-L-A, -L -A, and you can see it's already populated in the relevant searches here. Lalamu Studio. This is the icon that you need to find in the search results on Canva. Select this. Make video characters talk with AI. You need to give it the correct permissions by selecting open in Canva. Now what you need to do is upload your video and audio. So here I'm going to select upload. I'm gonna choose the file. Now we've already uploaded the file, but we're just gonna go through it again. Then we're going to upload the audio. I've already uploaded the audio, but I'm gonna do it again right here. Once you have your audio and video in place, select generate lip sync video. I wanted to show you this because this is an extra piece of value right here in this video. We're doing this entirely free. You don't have to pay any money to get this done right now using Canva to edit your video. Remember, we also have our narration that we can use as opposed to the lip synced video. So you have two options here. You can add this to the design or create a new video. Let's select add to design. Alternatively, you could also create a separate scene and then select it right here. I'm quite surprised with how well this animation looks. So let's show you that video in full screen. I'm quite surprised with how well this animation looks. So as you can see, it's my voice on the character. And I want to show you this piece of value right here to show you how this can be done because your characters can speak using Lalamu. I'm quite surprised with how well this animation looks. One thing to remember is that our narration goes by four seconds at a time. This right here is 3.9 seconds. So you will have to adjust to make things suit. Now that you know how to add your scenes, let's create our entire video. First, I'm gonna put this in the first scene. Now I'm gonna go through each page and add our files. So to access your uploads and add our files. So to access your uploads, all you need to do is make sure you're in the side menu, scroll up 
and then you will see uploads. You can access your audio uploads or video uploads or alternatively your images. We need our video uploads. So let's just select upload, go into the downloads folder where my uploads are contained and then I'm going to select them and upload. I don't mind grabbing that as well because we need it. So we're also going for the voiceover as well. It's actually a good selection. And as you can see, it just uploaded the voiceover, which is 38 seconds long. And if I go into videos, those videos are now being uploaded. And I'll be able to add them to each individual scene. If you're unsure of the order of your animation, remember you can always go back to your ChatGPT or your Hyper account, and you will see what order you have added each scene. So the next one is the boy with the carrot. If I go to the chat GPT, we have each individual scene. The next scene is called a friendly bond. And you can see what is supposed to be happening in that next scene. To add your video to this scene that we've now added, select it and it will appear on the canvas. You then resize so everything fits. Do this for each individual scene. Now in this next step, you have your voiceover narration. Drag this from the browser here. So when you're in uploads, select audio. You have videos and you have images, select audio, and then you can find your voiceover and you can drag that underneath. In a quiet village, a boy named Tim found a small, gentle donkey standing alone near a well. Tim smiled and offered the donkey a carrot and the donkey nuzzled his hand, beginning their friendship. With a sack of bread, Tim hopped on the donkey's back and they set out on an adventure through the fields. They reached a shallow river where the donkey carefully crossed with Tim holding on. Now it looks like it's slightly out of place. We just need to move things slightly. In a quiet village, a boy named Tim found a small, gentle donkey standing alone near a well. Tim smiled and offered the donkey a carrot, and the donkey nuzzled his hand, beginning their friendship. Let's move it up a little bit. It In looks. a quiet village, a boy named Tim found a small, gentle donkey standing alone near a well. Tim smiled and offered the donkey a carrot, and the donkey nuzzled his hand, beginning their friendship. If you find that your voiceover audio is a little bit too quick, you can always adjust this by going back to Text-to-Speech Maker. And you can go into those settings and you can either remove the spaces, which is one way to do that, so it doesn't have that space in the speech, or alternatively, you can go into more settings and you can adjust the voice speed. So at default, we were at 1.0. If we go 1.1, this should adjust the speed. Oops, make sure you enter that capture. Another thing you can do is you can extend some of your scenes like I mentioned earlier on. So from here, we're gonna to go to extend by four seconds. When we select this, it's going to extend, but it's also going to use our free credits. Let's extend this scene so that we have more to work with with our final finished piece. You can also add some music to your animation. I do advise using the YouTube audio library but there are other places where you can get copyright free music. In the YouTube audio library, I've searched for Arabic, and this is the song that I'm going to download, which is entirely copyright free for me to use in this animation video. Now that that's downloaded, let's have a look at our extended video over on Hyper. It's over 80% done. It should be done in just a moment. And we're going to add this as well as the music to the final finished piece. Don't forget that you can also adjust the level of your audio of any pieces of your video or voiceover. In this case, I want the beginning voiceover to be a bit more quiet because it's actually drowning out the voiceover and I want it to be sort of in the background. So with this scene selected, I can go up to audio and then I can change the volume of the audio. You can do the same for any music or voiceover or audio you add to each scene. You can also, of course, crop out anything that you don't want to appear in the scene. So you can also create a page transition. Right here, you can add a page or you can add a transition. This of course is going to make the duration of your video a little bit shorter, but you can add transitions to your animation. Maybe a dissolve might make more sense, depending on what you want for your style of animation. The Hyper AI has completed our extended final scene. So let's download this right now and let's add it to our Canva creation. Let's go back to Canva. And then right here, we're going to add that scene and replace the previous, as well as our music that we've just downloaded. And then we will have a final finished piece ready to show you. So let's very quickly and easily complete our final finished piece. Before we add the music, I just want to quickly add that video. 
which has just been uploaded. It's now eight seconds long as opposed to four. I'm then going to delete the previous scene by selecting it and hitting delete. Now let's go back to the audio and add that underneath. You can also adjust what part of the song you have selected by selecting the song, selecting adjust and dragging it accordingly. You can see where the song is about to start. Let's adjust the volume so that the voiceover is the main thing that's playing throughout each scene. Before we play this through, let's give this a download. So right here, we have our download option. Let's select share, select download. And then as you can see, you can download as an MP4 video. If you have a pro paid version of Canva, you can export at a higher quality. If not, your standard quality will be 720p. For this example, I'm going to download in 1080p. Don't forget to give your file a name before downloading so that you can find it a lot easier. You can name your file by going up to this part of Canva and typing in what you like. And then you will download your free animation. Now the first version is already downloaded without giving it a name. Let's have a look at the final finished piece. In a I'm quiet village, a boy named well Tim found a small, gentle donkey standing alone near a well. Tim smiled and offered the donkey a carrot, and the donkey nuzzled his hand, beginning their friendship. With a sack of bread, Tim hopped on the donkey's back, and they set out on an adventure through the fields. They reached a shallow river, where the donkey carefully crossed with Tim holding on tightly. As the sun began to set, they rested under a large tree, sharing bread and resting together. The stars emerged, and the boy curled up next to the donkey, falling asleep to the sounds of the night. The next morning, they returned to the village, where Tim led the donkey back to the well, their bond stronger than ever. And this is how you can create a 3D animation entirely for free. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. There's more where that came from right here on Mr. Money. Thank you for watching.